Alrighty, what's going on guys? So this is actually going to be a little bit different of a video. I've been really feeling it lately in the gym and I wanted to put up a quick little, I guess, uh, training compilation of, of everything lately. Now, as many of you may know, I did do my 130 mile ride, so I'm working my way back into a strength phase again and had a big week of just uh, getting my muscles accumulated to uh, heavier workload again. And you guys are seeing conventional deadlifts from me right now. Um, so this is the second week really of just getting my body back into the swing of things. Now, conventional deadlifts, I will say I don't do just because of the fact that I have very poor posture and a lot of people always point out that my back rounds tremendously. Now, upper back rounding is actually not as bad as people like to say it is uh, uh, for many different reasons, but um, my lower back does round with conventional deadlifts. And uh, yeah, I'm using these really just, I throw these in on my uh, pull days where I focus on my back a lot more, uh, rowing and a lot of upper rowing movements and um, horizontal rowing movements. And so I throw in conventional deadlifts with that just because I feel like I, d I do hit more of my upper back uh, with my conventional deadlifts. Now, as you guys are gonna see with my sumo deadlifts, I put those in on my lower days, but um, I'm showing you guys just today's workout just for reference of, of where everything is at strength wise. Um, today hit 315 for three. And also with squats right now, I find that I am working my way back up to a heavier weight. I squatted about two Sundays ago with uh, my buddy Nick Dompierre and even uh, two plates for uh, just a, a set of three for one set with that was enough to actually have such bad doms in me uh, for I, I it, it took me about a good five days to actually recover from that so I am actually going I, I throw in to get my muscles accumulated I throw in um, right now just two light days and what that looks like is what you guys are seeing right now is 135 for, uh, well, I warm up with the bar first, then work up to 135, then move up to 155, and then 185 for five. And then usually I'll throw in a two, uh, two plate set, but I just stopped it here today. So that is going to be getting me um, accumulated and also it's going to not wear me down in terms of muscle fatigue. And then I just decided to throw this in here just because I never felt myself doing curls. Uh, with my curls and my arm movements, I usually just do four sets. I don't really care that much for arms really. I, I, I'm not gonna ever have the most giant biceps in the world ever. So I don't really mind them too much and I don't focus on them too much. As I'm doing my compound lifts, I realize that my arms are going to get hit uh, regardless. And um, I'm always, I'm never gonna have the biggest arms, <laughs> no matter how much the trolls want to point that out in the comment section. Um, and this is actually a few days before, I hit a uh, 10 pound, well, it's actually not a PR because I've, I've lifted way more weight than this before, but for right now, it's a, it's an additional 10 pounds onto um, what I, I struggled so hard last week with 365 for a triple and to get it as, um, it was definitely not effortless by any means, but to get 375 for a triple here was actually, oh, I, it felt it felt amazing to be able to get 10 pounds. Um, I, I don't wanna use the word easy at all because it definitely was not easy getting towards the third rep here. You guys are gonna see me struggle a little bit and by the way let me know down below if you guys like the way this is formatted just because i'm not speeding up the clips like i usually do on my main channel when i do put up footage if i do if i ended up putting up footage in the first place but um i was excited to get that for a triple and um yeah so it was really good and this is i would say right now the biggest thing i'm, I'm looking to improve and when you are working your way into a surplus this is usually the first thing that does improve, at least it does for me, assuming that I'm doing my accessory work and everything. Um, so I usually, when it comes to pressing, if I'm not benching, I'll work my way. For example, this is this bench workout was just 65 for five, 70 for five, and then I ended up getting 75 for five, which is really awesome for me. I, I was feeling really good that day. And uh, that's pretty much, I don't do a five by five. I don't really do a five by five with any of my compound lifts at all. I just, I, if I'm gonna do anything, it's gonna be a three by five. And that's exactly what uh, I ended up working up to with the dumbbell presses there. Now I'll alternate with dumbbell and barbell. Um, with overhead press, it's strictly barbell for me. I'll, I'll do some seated dumbbell presses here and there, but the benefits you get out of overhead um, barbell pressing is just, I, I, I've always loved it. And I've always actually excelled at this lift in my opinion. Um, my overhead press is pretty decent for, I guess, my, my long arms and uh, just the way I'm built. 
and uh, I've had a pretty high overhead press in the past. I've pressed 175 pounds at my strongest for a double or triple, I believe. Um, and this is a, a lift that I actually got two reps on this week. My highest, given the strength phase I'm in right now, is 115 for five, and so I was able to get 125 for uh, a five rep push throughout this uh, press. I would have done 120, but my gym doesn't have 2.5s right now. But yeah, I push pressed the last two reps, but other than that, I'm stoked about where things are at right now. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked about just getting strong again. It would be nice. So uh, if you guys definitely uh, like the, uh, the format and everything, let me know down below and I will be back with another video. See you guys later.